Master, want to play another game? Uh, not right now, K9. We've been playing chess all day. YouTube, welcome to Group Builders. I'm Disorderly Cone. But don't worry, buddy. I got a really good idea. In this episode, we're going to be going into the Star Wars universe. And I can't think of a better astromech to help us out in this situation than R2-D2. Groove Builders, let's get to the workbench. Groovers, welcome to the workbench. This is our friend R2-D2 in some awesome Force Awakens packaging on the back. If you take a look real close, you can see some future models we're going to be building. Groovers, let's open her up. The first thing we're going to see is our instructions and then our metal. Now in this particular kit, they give us two very highly detailed sheets. Going ahead and opening up our instructions, the first thing we're looking at is our part numbers. At the very top, we see our insertion holes and our tabs, as well as some instructions on how to bend or twist them depending on the part. Our first task is to build R2-D2's head, which is just basically a dome with a whole bunch of detail pieces attached to it. The first bit of detail we're going to be working on is R2-D2's eye, which is four 90 degree bends. You're just basically making a little box. Alright, for these smaller pieces I recommend using a toothpick to make a perfect uniform shape for each one. A good model is a consistent one, Groovers. Now when attaching the detail pieces, it's really important to pull and twist. This will make sure that all the pieces are nice and tightly secured to R2-D2's head. Now for the eyepiece. Awesome. Now that we have all the detail attached, we're going to go ahead and start forming R2-D2's dome. I'm going to use this toy here to kind of give me a start. And then I'm going to go ahead and pre-bend all these tabs. The piece I'm cutting now is going to be used for the base of R2-D2's head, but first we're going to have to shape the dome so it fits perfectly inside the ring. I'm pre-bending all of my tabs, inserting them into the holes, and then tightening them as tight as they can, making a nice tight dome all the way around. Now we're attaching R2-D2's head to the ring that we had earlier. It's really important to make sure that when you're doing these tabs to pull and twist to get a nice secure fit. Moving right along, Groovers, to R2's body. These four pieces of detail go on the back front plate of R2. Now just like the eye piece from before, they are just very simple 90 degree bends. What's really important to remember here is you want to place the proper detail pieces in their proper spots. The pieces are fairly different and the instructions are also very clear. It's just a good thing to double check your work. With all of our details bent, we're going to go ahead and start attaching them to our 2 D2's front plate. Groove Builders, here's an awesome little tip for you while you're building R2. Make sure that you're bending all of your tabs that are exposed on the outside in the same direction. This will make for a really clean R2 at the very end. Our last little vent here. Excellent. On to R2-D2's back side, we're going to be doing the same thing we did on the front, but this time with only two pieces of detail. Okay, with R2's back done, we're going to go back to the front plate and start bending it across the screwdriver handle. This is going to help us get that nice tube shape we need for his center body. I did try to free bend R2's back side, however I did find that I had to go back and use the screwdriver handle to get that nice uniform shape. Let's go ahead and pre-bend all of these tabs so we can connect the front piece and back piece easily together. Here's the first half. Make sure those bends are really nice and tight. And here's the other half. Awesome. Very nice, very solid. Now we're on to R2's leg assembly. It's a lot of parts, but I'm sure we can do it. The first piece of detail we're working on is this little triangle that's going to go at the very top of R2's leg. Don't forget to pull and twist. Now bend these pieces back right here and right here. And the center piece, you want to line up with the border we just created. Just like that. Perfect. Now for another vent. Same thing as before for 90 degree bends. Just the top. Excellent. 
Now we're going to do the same thing kind of we did before by bending the border pieces, and then we're going to form them to this center piece. I really recommend forming the lower half and then the upper half to make this really, really simple for you. There we go. Nice and lined up. Make sure you don't have any gaps. Now this piece is a little tricky. I recommend doing several really, really, really tiny pinches if you don't have a nice dowel or pen to help you out with the shaping. Last little bit of outer detail piece there. Nice and formed. Now we're gonna close this up with this back half. Don't forget to fold these tabs out. You don't wanna have to take apart R2D2's leg to get back to them. All right, all closed up. Now we have another leg to build. Same thing as before, all these pieces, same thing, going right into that piece. Let's go ahead and just put them all into my hand here. Now we just gotta squeeze and shake our hands so hard. Squeeze, 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 shake, 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 and there we go. All nice and done. Now that we have both legs assembled, we're gonna go ahead and attach them to R2-D2's body. Now this is done by two tabs on either side. Do not forget to pull and twist. This is very, very important for this piece. You don't wanna have these legs moving around too much. Same with his dome head. When you're attaching it, make sure you're not scratching any of the metal along the sides. Groovers are moving on to the ankles and feet of R2. The ankles, in my opinion, are some of the harder parts of this model. You want to make sure we do these two 90 degree bends first. To get the left and right tabs into the insertion holes, I had to do quite a lot of work to manipulate the piece into place. Just be patient, Groovers. Now we're going to bend these two pieces down, creating a spout, making the whole ankle piece look like a giant funnel, if you will. There we go. Groovers, just like before, we're going to do the exact same thing for the other side. I'm not going to show you that, though. We're going to get to the detail. Similar to R2's dome, we're going to use a toothpick to make these nice, even cylinders, and then we're going to pull the two tabs in the center out. I do this twice. Here we go. Place that little bit of detail on there. And then we do the same thing for the other side. Awesome. Now we're gonna be working on the shoes and jet packs, if you will, for R2D2. The best way of doing this is start by bending the border on the outside and then work that middle piece by doing a series of 90 degree bends from each other. If you think you may have messed up one of these bends, you can always line it up with the borders on either side of the foot to check your work. And there's me checking mine. With this foot looking pretty good, we're gonna go ahead and work on the jetpack, which starts with rolling the top part down. If you have a mandrill or a pen to help shape this, I definitely recommend using it over this toothpick. I even tried using my tweezers here, and that came out pretty well. I always go back at the very end of my models to make sure that there's no gaps. Our tabs are pre-bent at the top of this box to make for an easy connection, and once inserted, you wanna make sure you do a nice flat bend to make a nice tight connection. This box looks pretty good, doesn't it, Groovers? And that's one foot done. I'm gonna do the same thing for the other side. With our two's feet looking really, really awesome and fully constructed, we're going to go ahead and attach it to them. We do that with those two little tabs we made earlier. Pull and twist. Don't forget the jetpacks go on the inside of R2-D2. You don't want to accidentally put them on the outside. Excellent! He's really coming along. The next piece is our 2 center leg, which is very similar in construction to the others. Just like the previous cylinders, we're going to use our toothpick to make them nice and uniform and then cap each end. This one here, we're going to do the same thing. Apply pressure and shake, 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 shake. There we go. Groovers, just a little word of warning. This piece has a lot of little folds in it. I definitely recommend double, triple checking your instructions to make sure that you're doing this correctly. If you don't, you'll have a really hard time connecting it to the base and to R2-D2's body. 
looking forward a little bit in the directions, I'm gonna go ahead and pre-bend all of these tabs. This will just make it a lot easier for me to connect it to the leg and base. Groovers, let's go ahead and cut the last remaining pieces of our metal out. We don't need to watch another leg being built, so shake, 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 and awesome. When it comes to R2's bum plate, I recommend bending each panel one at a time, lining it up with the previous one bent. This will make sure it's completely even all the way around. R2's center leg is pretty straightforward, and of all the legs, is the easiest to construct. Just make sure that you're doing a nice pull and twist for a nice solid connection. Let's get R2's three base plates as well as his stand cutout. Let's go ahead and pre-bend all of these tabs on R2's bum plate. This will make it easier for us. Twist all of these tabs long. There we go. All done. Now onto the feet. The feet themselves are pretty easy because they're just four 90 degree bends. I'm going to do this quickly so we don't have to waste time on it. Awesome. Now the two longer rectangles are for the left and right foot of R2. That leaves the shortest rectangle, of course, for the center. Here we go, attaching the base plate right now. Make sure we're not scratching any of these tabs as we bend them into place. And now finally the last foot. Groovers with R2 almost complete, it's very important to take this last step slowly. You don't want to accidentally scratch the base where R2 is sitting. Now it's four 90 degree bends to finish up our base. Master, have you completed construction on R2-D2? Actually, K9, yeah, I think we're done. Uh, R2, how are you feeling, buddy? <laughs> awesome! All right, Groove Builders, we did it! We built R2-D2! All right, buddy, can you do me a favor and just go over to that pedestal over there? When we're done, you can go play chess with K9. Great! Groove Builders, let's go ahead and talk about the kit. The first thing we're going to be talking about is construction. This model does come with two sheets, and a lot of the parts that are on it have to deal with the detail. The detail pieces are pretty simple to put together, most of them are squares, uh, and the more difficult ones, like the dome and some of the circular pieces, can be easily formed with the right tools. Uh, for the circular pieces, I definitely recommend using a toothpick. I found your average toothpick is the right diameter for these pieces. And if you're looking to shape the top part of the dome, I definitely recommend using a toy container or even an egg to help you shape that. If you're doing it with your thumb, just make sure you go slowly and you use the piece's grooves to figure it out yourself. The next thing I want to talk about is detail. This model looks fantastic with all of its laser etching, especially in those little detail pieces that you put onto R2's body. At the very end, with the right light and the right display, this will be a great centerpiece for your collection. The last thing I want to talk about is construction difficulty. Now, I found R2 not to be too difficult to build. However, there were a few little steps that gave me some trouble, mainly the boosters that go on R2-D2's left and right leg. I found that they were almost too small to be bent correctly, something similar that we've seen in the Burj Al Arab's helicopter port design. I just went slow and rebent the pieces a few times and was able to finally get them just in. Groovers, take your time with this step. I really, really, really can't stress that enough. The last thing you want to do is be on the last steps of R2-D2 and break a piece. One other thing about R2-D2's construction is his main body. Just be careful when you're forming that tube. I definitely recommend using something big like a dowel or in my case I use a screwdriver handle to get that shape. If you're not careful though when you're making that shape you can hurt the detailed pieces that you've attached onto the main body. Again just go slow and be careful of those pieces and it should turn out great. Alright group builders that brings us to the end. I had a great time building R2-D2 with you and if you guys had a good time don't forget to press that like button. For more videos like this, hit subscribe as well. We got all kinds of really cool, fun stuff coming up in the future. Until next time, Groove Builders, keep building.